Hello everyone and welcome to Keras Quick Tips, where we cover new or interesting functionality in Keras software in five minutes or less. In today's video, we are going to provide a demo of our new auto calibration tool that was just released with Hips and Sips 10.4. Looking at the project and subsequent surface you can see here in front of you, you can clearly see there is a misalignment issue not being resolved in the data. You can see this clearly by looking at the depth layer, and we can also see this by looking at the new RMS layer. So to fix this, we're going to use our new auto calibration tool. To do it, we're going to go up to Tools, Automatic Bore Site Calibration, and select our data. Here we can see all the lines that are going to be used in the calibration process. And to begin, we'll just hit Process. This is going to go through and compare all four lines against one another, and it's going to compare the individual points or soundings. Once this is done, we'll have a pitch, roll, and yaw offset. We can see that down here at the bottom, and we can see our standard deviation to see what the uncertainty is for each of those values. Then I'm going to select OK to apply these values to the vessel file. Then, now that this is applied to the vessel file, we're going to re-sound velocity correct our lines. And then I'm going to also merge the lines. Once we have merged the lines, we will then have an updated georeference point cloud. And to update our surface, I'm going to right click on the surface and select recompute. Now that we can see clearly that the Misalignment issue has been resolved, and if we take a look at our RMS error layer, we can see the error has also been removed. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys can see how fast, simple, and easy to use our new auto calibration tool is. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us here at Keras, and please stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thank you.